Motor Week, television's automotive magazine. Your host for Motor Week, John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week. We're glad to have you with us. You know, there are lots of hot cars on the market today. And this Mazda RX-7 and this Nissan 300ZX take a backseat to none. But for the hardcore performance addict, there's never enough power. Enter Peter Farrell and Steve Millen. And they specialize in turning perfectly fine sports cars like these into real rocket ships. And that's all the excuse we needed. As luck would have it, both of these winged warriors showed up at the Motor Week offices the same week, so some interesting comparisons were inevitable. Mazda's third-generation RX-7 debuted in 1992, and with its swoopy curves, boundless grip, and rocket sled acceleration, it seemed like a barely disguised race car for the street. As the man in charge of preparing cars for Mazda's entry into the Bridgestone Supercar Racing Series, the task of stripping off that thin disguise fell to Peter Farrell, a feisty New Zealander rally ace and more recently IMSA Firehawk champion. That experience has spawned Peter Farrell Supercars, offering RX-7 performance and appearance upgrades and complete limited edition packages like our test car. This screaming yellow zonker started out as a 1993 RX-7 R1. Being a road racer, Peter naturally fiddled with the suspension first, fitting adjustable shocks, progressive rate springs, stiffer sway bars, racing brakes, and larger BF Goodrich tires on lightweight alloy wheels. The result, surprisingly, is a ride almost equal to that of the softer Touring Package RX-7, with handling and high-speed poise far superior to the R1. Exterior changes include new front and rear spoilers that improve aerodynamics and add an eye-catching flair to the package. But there's more to the PFS machine than meets the eye. A more efficient intercooler and air intake, less restrictive exhaust, and a racing clutch coupled to a short throw shifter give this RX-7 some serious bite. But the most impressive feature is the programmable engine management computer. Using this keypad, the driver can recalibrate fuel ignition and boost parameters even while driving. At its optimum settings, the PFS RX-7 generates 360 horsepower and 300 pound-feet of torque. With all systems go, the PFS RX-7 can see 60 miles per hour in a short 4.5 seconds. It completes the quarter mile in 12.8 seconds at 114 miles per hour. However, an error in programming kept our time slightly off the pace. The complete PFS package adds $13,800 to the price of a new RX-7, and it's legal in 49 states, with California approval expected soon. While that RX-7 was patterned after a race car, this Nissan 300ZX is a race car. It was built by veteran racer and tuner Steve Millen to compete in the 1993 One Lap of America rally and was driven to a second place finish by our friend Billy Edwards and his partner, TV star and wannabe racer, Tim Allen. The most obvious addition is the monstrous rear wing, but the front fascia and side slits are a bit more low key, especially in our test car's violet blue paint color. Power gains are accomplished with the help of turbo experts from HKS. Larger turbos, a free flow exhaust, and reworking of the injectors and intercoolers, resulting in a whopping 465 horsepower. That's 50% more than when it left Nissan's hands. Like the RX-7, the Stillen driver can adjust performance levels. Just flip open what was the glove box and you'll find more gizmos than in Tim Allen's tool belt. Gauges for exhaust temperature and turbo boost monitor performance, while the computer has buttons to select preset power levels, or Tim's favorite, a volume knob for more power. Extensive suspension work keeps the power in check. Shock springs, anti-roll bars, wheels, and tires have all been upgraded, and they make for a firm but very enjoyable street ride. But the big payoff is in high-speed handling. Cornering grip and confidence is first rate, and fast maneuvers are effortless. As Nissan engineers work to develop the next generation 300ZX, we hope they'll take a long, hard look at this setup. Still, you'd better have both hands on the wheel when you mash the throttle, especially when the turbos spool up. Quarter mile runs are over in 13.4 seconds, ending at 110 miles per hour. Zero to 60 sprints took only 4.9 seconds. Assuming you've already purchased a 300ZX, the Stillen GTZ package will set you back an additional $19,843. 
Neither of these cars is cheap, but both Stillen and Peter Farrell supercars will let you choose items a la carte as your budget allows. High performance is addictive, and whether it comes from the factory or gets added on later, one thing's for certain. It's steamy efforts like these that make us understand all the more why we love to test cars.